<clears throat> Hello, single Taurus. How are you guys? <clears throat> I hope all is well. I am Phoenix Rising. If you're hearing my voice, you're watching my channel. If you're new, you can click like, subscribe, you can share me. And if you're a returning Taurus single, thanks for coming back. I'm here to do a general love read for you guys. It's a timeless read, so whenever you get this message, it's when you're supposed to have it. Mm -mm, okay. Some funky shit going on. <laughs> um, what's I gonna say? I'm gonna pull from my soulmate deck, my rider deck, and my rebel deck, okay? So, um, to book me, my email's at the bottom in the description box. And to uh, send me a cash app donation, that's also at the bottom in the description box. Um, I just got like 100 subscribers in one day, so I just want to thank you guys if you were part of that. If you've already subscribed, I thank you so much. Okay, guys, let's get busy. Single Taurus. Messages for single tours. <clears throat> Spirit guys, Mike Archangel, give me messages for my single tours, please. Messages for single tours. All right, we're going to stop there. Let's jump into it, guys. Someone's in conflict. Pisces, Capricorn. No, I, that could be it though. Libra, Gemini, uh, Aquarius energy. Five is about conflict. So this is like chaos, crisis, competition, instability, that type of energy. This is also, um, since it's swords, this is feeling defeated. So either you feeling defeated in your love life, um, that could be some deception, bully, this is someone wanting to walk away. Um, maybe you had an abusive partner in the past with some of you, not everybody, but there could be some underhanded something going on. And this could be just your ass self-sabotaging a situation you got going on. But for some of you, this is fight back. Okay. Definitely fight back towards single and don't be self-sabotaging shit. <laughs> don't do that. But I do feel like somebody is trying to sabotage your shit, too, for some of you. That's why he looking back laughing like, oh, okay, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Mm -hmm. You got the world card. This is Taurus. Your energy got the word at your feet. Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio energy. Um, the world card is like a com completion, recognition, rewards. This is like your dreams coming true. So, whether you see it or not, it's like a new beginning for you. You can start fresh. This is fulfillment, uh, success, achievement, accomplishment. And this is having a sense of belonging. That's what you want. This is wholeness, completion. And some of you travel to see your mate. Or they travel to see you. The person that you're dating or... Some of you are dating, yeah. Dating either a Taurus, another Taurus, a Leo, Aquarius, or a Scorpio. You got the eight, though. The eight, um, something could have happened around a full moon. But the eight of cups is Pisces, Cap Pisces, Scorpio. Cancer. Cancer, right. I was going to say it's cancer energy. <laughs> That's my daughter, y'all. This is uh, someone leaving a bad situation. Like I said, feeling like they got to walk away, abandoning something. Someone could have walked away from this situation. Are you thinking about walk away? This is um, reaching a limit. But this could also be your partner just being very withdrawn and looking inside the person you're dating. And this is um, you want to look deeper in them or, or they want to look deeper into you as a person. Wanting to get to know you. But this could also be somebody contemplating about walking away and com conflicted about it. You got the sun. It is upright. This is Aquarius energy. The sun to me is about achievements and satisfaction. This is someone wanting contentment in marriage. Wanting the wholeness of having a whole family. And being content with the situation. Some of you could be pregnant. Okay. This is um, happy, enthusiastic, optimistic. But this is also um, self-expression. And joy and good luck. Positivity. Being um, open-minded, free, truthful. This is like the rebirth. Especially since you got the world card. The rebirth of you. Because somebody could be riding high. I feel like some of you guys are about to, with the sun and the six of um, 
Wands, this is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. The six is always about a community and the new normal. So it's the new normal kind of after COVID. But it's like basically you riding high and basically being famous. Some of you could be um, into uh, doing be YouTubers, uh, Instagram, TikTok. I feel like some of you guys are doing things like that, writing books, um, all kind of different books, just exploring different things. Even though this is a couple's reading, I mean a <clears throat> single's reading. Um, it's more like some of you got career on your mind, so you're not necessarily that giving a fuck about it, but either you or the person you're dealing with has a lot of suitors. This is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. I feel like some of you already know that. That's why you got the five, because you conflicted about it. You even want to keep fucking with this person. Okay? This is, like I said, conflict. Some of you could be arguing with them. This person could have an ego. They could be defensive. You could be frustrated with this situation. This is also like battle. Somebody could be being real petty. And you might even be clashing with this person. Little tempers. Like, you know, bumping heads a little bit. A little bit. A little bit, single Taurus. But notice you got the world at your feet with the sun and the world and the six of uh, wands. You still the shit. And you got the six of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This is Virgo, Taurus, your energy. Capricorn, this is fairness, wealth, gifts. You having the money. You able to give the motherfucker. Somebody finna come to some money. This is um, being valued. Uh, I feel like some of you getting a raise or something about a new job, employment. Somebody might be doing self-employment. This is uh, giving and support. Gratitude. Gratitude. Okay, Taurus. 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 It says, put the fucking phone down. Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person. <laughs> Don't believe every shitty thought you have. Thoughts can be sneaky, lying bastards. That's just nothing but the devil. Don't overthink something. With this world card, with this energy of this Leo, a Taurus, a Aquarius, or a Scorpio. I feel like maybe you overthinking the situation. You're the shit. Don't forget it. <laughs> Ooh, fucking apologize. Seriously, just do it. One of y'all, somebody needs to say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, babe. You look like a shit show. <laughs> You're a hot mess. Fat. Clean yourself up. Some of you need to go and get yourself together now. Nah. You're doing too much work and not enough self-care. Stop fucking whining. No one wants to listen to that shit. Complaining makes you weak. You have the strength to change the world, so do it. Okay, let's go into the soulmate deck. Messages for Taurus. Single Taurus. For some of you, that could be a codependency issue. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Somebody could be addicted to sex, porn, beer, alcohol, drugs, cigarettes, gambling. People have all different kind of um, addictions. So, um, and a codependency could be, like I said, too much of you guys being dependent on each other. Romantic feelings are... Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Romantic feelings with the world card. This person is worth exploring. Engagement. Mm. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Hot damn. Y'all fighting with you. Oh, you thinking about engagement though, right? You you not dating to be dating. I hear somebody say, I ain't dating to be dating. I'm dating to get married. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other. Your bond deepens. With the sun card. Yeah. Release your ex. Somebody got their ex lingering around. The time has come to clear your energy. This should go right if you let go of that ex. You can't be doing that and doing that and doing that. 
and doing that. Make up your mind. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. You got to let go. Let go, let go. <laughs> As Chris Brown would say, right? Because if this is what you want in the end, okay, the situation involves marriage. Okay. Now, somebody is dating a married man or a married woman, and they're supposed to be getting a divorce. That's why this wedding card is here. So, okay. Okay, Taurus. Singles, this has been your love read. Click like, subscribe, share me. Come back and see me. I hope you guys like this. Um, to book me, like I said, for a personal read, email me. It's in the description box. And to cash at me, it's in the description box. So next time, guys, I did couples. I'm going to do general. Sending you love and light. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.